Hey everyone, thanks for being here for today's show because we're going to talk about how to crush your 2019 goals because we all know it's January and we all make those stupid New Year's resolutions that never come true. We all come into the new year like, this is the year I'm going to do X, Y, Z and everything's going to be amazing and incredible and then and February hits and suddenly we forget all about those goals and carry on like we always do, forgetting about these big aspirations that we set out in the new year with. So in today's episode, I am going to tell you guys how to make sure you crush your 2019 goals, whether that be health, weight, financial, relationship, whatever it is, I'm going to give you my little blueprint on how to make sure that this year it actually happens. Okay, so to start, how to discover exactly what it is that your goals are. Like, what are your goals? And we usually tend to just kind of throw them out there and they're always like, oh, I'm gonna lose weight, I'm gonna stop drinking, I'm gonna exercise more. And those just don't have enough power behind them, okay? So I want you to get really specific on those goals. So if it's that you want to lose weight, well, how much do you want to lose weight and by when, right? So maybe do short term. You can do like a six-month look or a three-month look. So we can say, I'm going to lose 10, pound, 10 pounds in the next six months. That's reasonable. Something that you could totally do. So you can say by, you know, this date, I will be down 10 pounds, right? If it's financial, then you're going to say, you know, in the next six months, I'm going to save $300 a month. So, you know, and then come September, let's say, or June or something like that, you can break it up however you want. But then I'm going to start saving $400 a month. So you can kind of do it in increments, but you get really, really specific that it's going to go into this account. You're not going to touch it. It's going to be X amount of money. Uh, maybe your, your goal is just something like, I'm going to you know, start dating more or something like that. Then set it up where it's going to be, you're going to say, okay, I am going to join these dating sites for the next six months and I'm going to make sure that I go on one date a week and just put myself out there. I'm going to challenge myself to go on one date a week and just see what happens, right? So get really specific rather than just throwing it out there like, I'm going to find a boyfriend. That's my goal. Um, so, so something like that, if it's a health thing, then maybe your goal is just simply to say, you know what, I am going to educate myself on this issue. I'm going to find myself a practitioner that's going to help me that specializes in this area. I'm going to talk to my doctor. I'm going to start doing this, you know, get really specific rather than I want to get rid of this chronic pain in my back, right? So instead, I want you to get specific and say, I'm going to go do acupuncture and massage once a week. I'm going to research natural remedies that help back pain. And I'm going to make sure that this is done by the end of February, you know, or something like that. Because you need to be specific. You need to get behind that goal. You need to get write it down in detail what it is that you're wanting to accomplish because it's so much easier to attain it when it's more specific. Okay. Second is you want to put in the why behind it. So it's not enough to say, I want this, I want that, I want more money, I want to lose weight, I want to get a better, I want to get more healthy, whatever it is. You need to talk about why you want to do these things because we all know change is super hard, right? We're we're very set in our ways, our brains are wired to be a certain way, and it's really hard to change that wiring, which is why change is so hard, right? It goes against how our brains are wired at the present moment. So if you're 
wired to always be eating the sugary foods when you're stressed out and it's in that, and that makes it very hard to stay away from those foods, then, you know, change is going to be hard in that area because you are wired that way. You're wired to eat that way. So a way to get past that and to start changing the wiring of your brain is to really get behind the why. You need leverage. That's, that's, a, that's the best word to use. You need leverage as to why you need to do this. You need to get passionate about it. You need to get the feelings behind it. And you need to think about, you know, why is this so important to me? Why do I want to lose weight? You know, why do I want to lose this 10 pounds? What's this going to do for me? What is it going to do for my outlook on life? Am I going to be more active? Am I going to date more? Am I going to be a better representation for my children? Um, is, am I, I won't be so tired. I'll have um, better skin. I'll have a better digestive system. There's so many reasons why we want to lose weight and be healthier, right? So you can write all of them down and then also write down what will happen if you don't change these things, right? So what is it, what's going to happen if you don't lose the weight? Will you develop type 2 diabetes? Will you get a heart attack? Will you continue gaining weight? Yes. Will you, your hair start falling out? Will you have bad skin? Will you have more hormone dysfunction? So you have no libido. You know, there's all of these things like times it by 10, what you're going through right now, if you don't do something about it. So think of the worst case scenario, like the worst, 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 like you're going to develop type 2 diabetes and you're going to have to get your arms cut off because that's a reality of type 2 diabetes. Or you're going to have a heart attack and die, right? These are all serious realities of continuing to gain weight. So I want you to go there. I want you to really think about why do I want to change these things? What's the worst thing that could happen if I don't change them, because this is going to give you that leverage to do it, right? So when you're, when it's, you know, six months down the road and you're starting to forget about that New Year's resolution and you're like, you know what, I'm just going to eat the cake or I'm just not going to go to the gym actually today. Then you can be like, why am I doing this again? And you can pull out that journal and you can start reading it and be like, oh, right, this is why I'm doing this. And it'll give you that boost to stick with it. And you need that. You're going to need that. Let's say that's a reality. There's going to be some ups and downs, right? So writing this all down and reminding yourself why it is you're doing what you're doing is super, super key. Okay. So next is get really clear on what it is that you're going to do, right? You have to drop some of the, those those new year new year resolutions that you can't get leverage behind that you can't get the the emotions behind it right if they're just silly little things like oh i'm going to try to exercise more you know <laughs> like if you can't get behind that you got to change it you got to change it to something that you can get behind right maybe it's that you've always wanted to start Zumba or dancing lessons or something. And if that's something that sparks some interest in you and some excitement, then that's what you should be going for. So I want you to get really clear on the important things and the not so important things. And if they're not important, you can't get behind them and you can't get that leverage behind them, then you got to change it or you got to drop it. Okay. So this is all about figuring out exactly what is most important to you at this time because to also if we just pile on too many it just becomes overwhelming we don't want to do anything to do try and change everything at once right it's too much and and like i said we don't like to change as human beings we don't like change so picking those couple that are super important to you right now in your life is really important. It doesn't mean that you can't get back to those things either, right? Like maybe six months down the road or next year, they'll be more important. And that could be something that you're going to, you know, look at down the road as a goal to accomplish. But right now you want to really define what is most important in your life at this moment that you need to change, that you absolutely have to change. There's no ifs, ands, or buts because it has to that's the feeling you need behind it is there's no question inside of you that this absolutely has to change. 
100%, okay? That's where I need you to be. So get really, really clear. And then the same breath, another uh, you know, point is you want to be realistic, right? If you make these unrealistic goals like, oh, I'm going to be a millionaire. I'm going to be, I'm going to save up $300,000 this year when you only make $30,000 a year. Well, that's unrealistic. Probably not going to happen, right? Um, definitely one thing that I've been fallen, that I have fallen in the trap of in the past is really getting into the whole law of attraction stuff, right? The energy that we put out is what we draw in. We make up our dream boards for the year and it's like, this is what I want. I want this much money and I'm not going to, you know, I don't know how it's going to come. This is kind of the rules of law of attraction is just put it out there. Don't worry about how it's going to happen. Just put the, put the brand new vehicle up on your board, put the, I won the lottery up there, whatever it is. You know, you put up all these crazy dreams and they normally, actually they say 0.1% will actually happen when it comes to the whole law of attraction. And I don't, I'm not distant law of attraction. I love the law of attraction because I believe we have to have a positive attitude in order to have and create a really good life. But you need to take action and you need to be realistic, right? So you can have big dreams, but we're just talking 2019 here. What's realistically going to happen? Because you want to be able to come up with a plan on how to get it. You need to take action. You can't just sit back and stare at your dream board every day and meditate on it and think that it's going to suddenly appear in your life like some people do. And don't... I've been there. I was doing it. <laughs> you know, where I thought, okay, I'm just going to meditate this into my life. And it never came to fruition. So now I realize it's great to dream and it's great to have some really big ones, but they need to be something that I can take action on, right? I can't take action on winning the lottery and winning a million dollars or suddenly a, having a BMW up here, although I, I hate BMWs, but whatever, you know, whatever your choice is, I, I, I can't just make, thinking about it isn't going to just suddenly make it appear in a month's time. So it's, it's almost an excuse not to do the work. So when I say, you know, be realistic, you know, it doesn't, it's, there's no negativity with that. It's, okay, what could you really accomplish in the next year? You know, looking at your financial, looking at your relationship, the state of your relationship, or maybe you don't have a relationship. What's reasonable to think is going to happen here? Uh, how much can you work on it? How much money can you save? Um, can you get the new car if you save up enough? You know, or, or what do you have to do to get there, right? So I want you to be really realistic. And, and this goes with weight too, right? If you think, oh, I'm going to lose 50 pounds in two months, well, you're going to be doing it wrong and it's going to be harmful to your health and you're going to have rebound weight gain. So that's not realistic. Realistic is losing a half pound to a pound a week. And that's if you've got quite a bit to lose, right? That's what is healthy, normal weight loss. So do the math. You know, if you want to lose X amount of weight by X amount of time, is that reasonable? right? Is it realistic that you can do that? That's, that's what I want you to think about. So, you know, six months you could do, okay, well, I'm going to lose 50 pounds. Well, that's, that's absolutely doable. You could do that. So think about it. What is realistic here? You know, could you attain this? And once you get clear and you know, and you think, okay, yeah, I think I got it. You know, Karen, I, I want to lose this amount. I want to get rid of this health problem or, you know, I want to reach this financial goal. Then write them down and then you're going to write down the why, like I said, and then you're going to write down basically the map on how to get there right? So I want you to write down some actionable steps that you can take starting now, not two months down the road, but what can you do now that's going to start that ball rolling towards that goal, right? What are you going to have to do? So if it's a financial thing, like I said, you can say, okay, well, I'm going to put away, I have to put away X amount of money in order to reach this financial goal or to or order to purchase this vehicle or this house or whatever it is that you want, 
okay, well, what is it you're going to have to do? And if you don't have that money coming in right now, well, where are you going to go out and get it? You know, are you going to get a second job? Are you going to work harder? Are you going to excel more? Whatever it is, you need to come up with a plan on how it is that you can get there. And it's got to be realistic. Okay. So, you know, if it's your weight, okay, if you need to lose that much weight, what are you going to do to get that? You know, are you going to um, f- be strict with your diet? Are you going to start exercising more? Are you going to start weightlifting more? Are you going to do more hiking? Are you going to find a buddy that you can, you know, be accountable to? Are you going to join, you know, my fabulous program <laughs> for weight loss, whatever it is, but you come up with a plan and you write it down, it's got to be realistic. And then you can, then you can go after it. And it's so much easier when you take these little steps, write it all down so you can go back to it. Trust me, this works way better than the dream board does and sitting and meditating on it. These are actionable things that you can do. You're being realistic about it. And then you know that you can actually go after it and do it right? If we have these like crazy things that we're trying to reach, it's a matter of time before it's going to fail, right? So if, you know, going to the gym six days a week just isn't realistic for you right now, right? Which is such a common New Year's resolution. It's like, I'm going to go to the gym every day, five days a week or seven days a week, whatever it is. And I'm going to eat nothing but vegetables and lean meat. And that's it. That's all I'm going to do from now on. Come on. When, uh, how quickly is that going to fail, right? So don't put yourself in, don't set yourself up for a failure. Say, okay, what's realistic in my life? What could I do? What could I schedule in? You know, if you're trying to, a big one that I really encourage all women to do is have goals on how can they pay more attention to themselves? How can they have more self-care, right? Because it's something that we all struggle with. So I encourage women to just put aside maybe even just three times a week where they would do a yoga class by themselves or go for a walk or meet up with a friend or go for a massage or a pedicure, whatever it is that just helps them to decompress, take a little time for themselves, feed their soul, their spirit, their mind. And instead of taking away from themselves, because we tend to do that, right? So we're always just give, 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 taking care of everybody else except for ourselves, and we start we suffer from it. So that that's a great goal. But if you start start out by saying, I'm gonna meditate every single day for 20 minutes, and, and I'm saying this one because I've been I've actually done that one twice where I've come, decided that that's my goal. And yeah, it lasted a week and it was over. And so you gotta you know shrink it down a little bit and be like, okay, no, what what would I actually be willing to commit to right now in my life? What time-wise could I commit to? How can I rearrange things in order to commit to this and really figure it out and be realistic about it, okay? So a little quick overview, figure out what those goals are first and foremost. Be really, really clear with what they are. Why then are you wanting to reach those goals? Write that down, right? Why do you want to reach those goals? What's going to happen if you don't? What is the worst case scenario? Write it down. All right, come up with some actionable steps to reach those goals. Okay, so that's next actionable steps to reach those goals. And where can you start today? on getting that ball moving, okay? That might just be a phone call. It might be joining the gym. It might be, you know, setting up a different bank account. If it's finances, maybe you want better connection with your partner. Well, then make the date, you know, reserve the, the dinner reservation or the hotel room, whatever it is, but do something actionable today that starts that ball rolling and gets, gets, get, gets you going, gets you a little leverage, all right? So those are my magic because they are, they work far better than the law of attraction does. And just sitting around stating your goals for the year, this works really, really, really well. I do it every single January. I actually have a whole course on it in my on track program for women that I put them all through it. It's a seven week program and we dive deep into the seven steps to make permanent changes. So it works. I've done it four years in a row and I crush my goals every single year. So let's do it ladies. Uh, Comment below, even in wherever you're watching this, there'll be a comment section. 
what are your goals and how do you plan to crush them? All right. Have a wonderful day and don't forget, take that one actionable step today to get that ball moving. Okay. See you next time.